Good morning, good afternoon, or good night, or whatever time it may be in your part of the world. My name is Mr. John Wayne, and I am a variety gamer. I play everything from the Fallout franchise all the way to the Soulsborne series. Welcome everyone to another episode of our 100% walkthrough of Fallout 4. I hope you're all doing well. I know that I am. And today we are going to make our way to the Core Vega assembly plant. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, we're we came from that way the last episode. And that's the Starlight uh, Drive-In, obviously. What we want to do is we want to hang a right, right over here. And we're going to follow this road down until it dead ends. All right, right here is where we want to take a left. We're coming up to a spot where there's usually events going on. Right now there's a tire fire going on, so <laughs> there's that. That's not always there, by the way. It'll always be random anytime you come through there. It's just a, a spot where random events happen. I know I just said that, but <laughs> that's the best explanation I have for it. We're going to take a left here by the Slocum Joes. We're going to head over to the Super Duper Mart. This is uh, Lexington. Here in a second, we're going to want to crouch. There's quite a few ghouls over here. It's pretty dangerous. I mean, ghouls really aren't that bad unless there's a ton of them all at once. And trust me, there is a lot over here. So over here is another one of those railroad signs. You can see it's got an X in there, so this is a dangerous spot. Let's go ahead and go inside the Super Duper Mart. Alright. Let's uh, go to the left here. We want to hack a terminal and lockpick this safe. We'll lockpick the safe first, and then we'll hack the terminal. Nice. So when we go to hack the terminal, we're going to turn on the um, Protectron, I think it is. Yeah, I think it's a Protectron. And um, it's pretty self-explanatory. So I'm pretty sure everyone can get the hang of it. I'll see everybody in just a second. Powering up. Protectron on duty. Let's go ahead and crouch again. And man, it took me a minute to <laughs> get into that terminal. I don't know what uh, my guy was doing. Again, there's like a ton of loot in here. So feel free to loot your heart out. I know there's a ghoul that comes down right here. And we got a level. Sweet. Let's put our... Eh, it's Raider stuff. I'll probably end up selling that. Um, let's go ahead and put our level in real quick. Let's put it into Sneak. And then I think... Because we won't be able to put any more into Sneak until we're in our level 23, I think it said. Um... We're going to put like four points into uh, agility next. All right. Ooh. The auto save. Let's go ahead and uh, pick the lock on this first aid kit. Sweet. Hostile All right. target detected. Situation. Continue on. He's going to keep fighting for us. Which is just fine. That's what we want him to do. We're going to get a magazine. It's uh, Junk Town Tales of a Jerky Vendor, I think it is. Tales of a Junk Town Jerky Vendor. That's what it is. 
Um, this just gives us better prices uh, on vendors, which is really good. That's it. I right, got this door open. We're going to have a ghoul fall through the window as well here in just a second. There he is. And then there's one. Yeah, there he is. I was like, I know there's another one over here. <laughs> I just didn't see him at first. There is a lot of ghouls in this uh, super duper mart. What's sad is we're going to see, like, this is the Minutemen that were murdered. They were rolling with uh, Preston Garvey and all of them. Um, that's in Sanctuary now. What's sad is if they would have known the railroad signs, they probably wouldn't have died. They would have known, like, oh, this is not a safe spot. I know I was fucking shooting him. Uh, that's just got some loot in there. Nothing important. Okay, yeah. Ooh-wee. Ooh, Ooh military-grade duct tape. Nice. That's what I'm talking about. Get a little nervous whenever... I'm in caution. Come on, dog meat, move. Oh, I forgot. There's one that drops out of the. Yeah, they. There's a ton that are dropping out of windows and all kinds of stuff. So just be careful. We're gonna step back, go downstairs a little bit, and then set that ghoul on fire. Now we just gotta wait for the fire to dissipate here for a second by the way if the um, going invisible kind of like the stealth boy effect is bugging anybody just let me know in the comments down below and we'll uh, switch it up because I know that I go into my pit boy quite a bit and it might be harder to see what's going on attention citizens Don't forget to upgrade your weapons. Very important. Let's uh, pick the lock on this wooden crate. Yes. All right. Once we get far enough in here, we're going to have some ghouls spawn behind us. But it's all right. <laughs> I'm sure the stealth boy effect is probably really annoying to some people. I may um, switch the chess piece out. Oh, there he is. There's the last ghoul. Alright, let's go ahead and listen to this hollow tape really fast. I came back yesterday with Emma. Everyone's gone. Looks like they left in a hurry and had one hell of a fight. Feral corpses everywhere. And when I searched for anything, they might tell us where they went. The only thing we found was Anthony. Must have been bad. They never would have left his body there. I sent Emma down to the loading dock to wait for me while I check on something. 
We won't stay long. I just want to get Anthony's body and wait. Pharaohs are back. Oh, fuck me. Oh man, dumb decision on that guy. All right, let's go through this door. All right, we're going to have a few ghouls come out. A few, I mean just a couple. There's only two of them. Let's listen to Emma's hollow tape after we grab all this stuff. What the hell is Josh doing? He's been gone for over an hour. We need to get out of here. The guys are thinking we're already at Concord. If Josh would hurry his ass up, maybe we can get there in time. Shit! Gunfire! Not good! Josh! Yeah. Sucks for her. Let's uh, go into this terminal and open up the doorway here. Continue to crouch. We're gonna come around the back side. And we're going to sneak. I really don't want to get the attention of any of the ghouls that are around here. Hopefully. They're usually all over there. Along with uh, some raiders too. So We just got to be careful. Be really sneaky. Uh, there's caution. Definitely got some ghouls. Yep, they're up top there. Alright. Back to hidden. Hopefully. Yeah, they're normally all over there in the buildings and whatnot. Which is not where we want to be. We actually want to be over here. This is the Corvega plant. Someone's out there! We want to be careful. There's quite a few enemies um, right here, as you can tell. There's one right there. Oh. Scared, really? huh? You should be. You gotta reload sometime, <laughs> asshole! Oh, they see me. I was like, am I still in caution? No, they see me. Where'd that little fucker go? They're all up top there, too. Let's see if we can't get a few of them. Where the hell are they? they I. I know they're up here, but you don't see them. Shit. Lost it. Dead already. Really? Oh, there's one. Oh, you son of a bitch. I seen that Molotov get thrown. There's another one. Might be hard for everybody else to see because of the sunlight. Did... Yep. Alright, step back here. Maybe. We're wasting a lot of time just trying to kill these guys when it's really not that necessary. But... Nice. Okay, that was sweet. 
I did not expect that to fucking actually hit him, but I was going to give it a shot. I don't see any more. I know they're up there. It's just... Oh, well. Let's not waste our time on that shit. We'll get them anyways. We gotta go up there. Oh, man, come back. I was having fun. Alright, first things first. Let's disarm this. And then right here's a makeshift bomb. If we come over here. We have a raider. Hey. Whoa, whoa, shut the fuck up a second. I hear something. Hmm. Nothing there now. Mm -hmm. What do you think? I don't know. I can jump into shadows. Yeah, you're probably. Right. What the hell was that? Gotta cut down the jet, I guess. Oh! Someone's out there. <laughs> scared, huh? You should be. There should be one more. Right over here. It's cold. Yep. No. Think you can hide? Spread out. Find him. There is a ton of raiders in here too. So we like literally got out of a spot where there was a ton of ghouls. Now we have a ton of raiders. Disappearing act, huh? This is uh, the place that Tim Pine's uh, bluff wanted us to, well, the settlers there, uh, wanted us to take care of. Who's there? End of the line! <laughs> Keep your eyes open! Oh, of course I would reload. Shit! Oh. Make it nice and quick. You can trust me. Why don't you just die? I think there's one more. Careful. No sign of I'll them now. Find you. Get off of me. I'm just ah! What? It's gotta be another guy right over here. Yeah. Oh. Thought so. What the fuck was that? Get off of me. Ah! There's no way to, I mean, I guess there would be if you had a suppressor or something, uh, but I don't. It's just really hard not to be seen in this section. Some lore over there in that terminal. Is there, oh, there was somebody over there. Okay. So I had to go and get the key from Grizzle, but if you got the key from Grizzle uh, earlier into the walkthrough, games with me, then huh? you don't have to lockpick this gate. You can just go in and grab, or go in and open the gate and grab all this loot. Let's uh, pick the lock on this explosives box. Got it. All right. Um. Let's see. Move, dog meat. Let's go into our pip boy real quick and I'm gonna go over to weapons and favorite our frag grenades I know this is probably hard to see for everybody else um, but I, I want to put the frag grenades on for reasons for reasons oh man I knew there was gonna be another guy running that way I just had a feeling. All right, let's uh, pick the lock on this toolbox. Sweet. Nothing really important, but I don't know. I just like to make sure oh, man, I'm not so missing bad. something worth grabbing, even though I'm not trying to loot too much uh, during the walkthrough. Please don't be ferals again. 
Shoot them! Shoot them all! They're down here. There's Give three of them. I'll make it quick. Disappear it act, huh? Oh! Again! Oh! Ah! Oh! Just be careful there. That can be a little bit more tricky than what I just made it look like. Um, but, you know, essentially just kind of come down here and blast our faces off. Mm, ooh, yeah, I forgot. There was a bo bleh, bottle cap mine down here. And I think that's really it. I guess you could rest if you wanted to, if you're low on health or you're playing survival and you want to save. By the way, for those of you uh, playing on survival, uh, hopefully I'm not making it harder on you in the route that I'm taking. We can go that way or we can go that way, but those are just exits. We don't need to go through any of the exits. Right now we just need to backtrack and I guess we'll go up here because there's some bodies. And just grab what's on these people, on these dead raiders. We're making good time, though. Be careful. Radiated barrels here. You'll get a little bit of radiation. Nothing, like, too serious, but a little bit. All right, let's uh, pick the lock on this Kim box. Got it. Sweet. Medic. Psycho. Nice. Pretty sure one of these need to be picked, too. Yep. Yes. Sweet. We're getting some pretty good loot. I'm happy with the loot that we've gotten. We're going to go back this way um, after we come down here. But first we need to come down here. Um, there's really nothing special down here. I just wanted to show everybody. This is another way to get into the Corvega, um, assembly plant. I just, I've never taken this way though. Um, to get in that is. All right, let's, uh, pick the lock on the ammo box. Nice. 38 rounds. That's okay. I guess some lore. You feel the need to read it. If you feel the need, the need to read. <laughs> oh, I'm a fucking dork. Don't mind me. Come over here. We we're gonna have some more raiders. What the? Spread out. Fight. Blow his head off because. You have six shots, and you're a pro. Another one? I thought there was only two, right? Yeah, I guess there's three. Come over here. Loot this body. And then over here are some ghouls, so... Like, if you don't want to risk looting that body, just turn straight around and shoot the ghouls. I don't even think I fully... Yeah, I did. Uh, let's go into dog meat. Let's uh, drop some of our equipment into him. Yo! Psst! Alright. Yeah, we definitely don't want to be over-encumbered uh, before we're even out of here. I was going to say where we're going, but <laughs> we're where we're supposed to be. So we're not going anywhere. 
let's take some rat away and then use a stim pack wasn't really necessary to use rat away it's just I got quite a bit so I'm not worried if um, we use extra over there is just a room to loot But up here, we're going to uh, hack this terminal and turn on another Protectron. I like to, by the way, for the Protectrons, I like to put them on law enforcement. I don't know why. <laughs> I just do. Powering up. Protectron on duty. All right. Took him out. Situation normal. Law and order has gotcha. been restored. This is bullshit. What? I'll find you. Have a few more over here, but the Protectron will uh identified intruder detected. Beginning we'll help. search. All right. Approach and there's another turret. Yourself. Your attempted escape is only making things worse for you. <laughs> only making things worse for you. I love the Protectrons. Their dialogue is so silly. Is it over here? Ah, there it is. I was like, I know there's a spotlight. I just don't know exactly where it's at. The Corvega safe key. What the fuck was that? You are so dead. Oh. Law and order has prevailed. Intruder, identify yourself. Oh. All right, he he took him out. I guess. Uh, here's our Grognak the Barbarian, uh, magazine. There we go. This is the second one. Also, there's a uh, terminal. Come on, dog meat, get out of the way. Yeah, I don't know where this safe is, by the way. I've looked around. I don't know if it's just that's the safe or what. But if I missed it, uh, I apologize. There's uh, the raiders at, or I think they came through this doorway or another doorway. I know they spawn after you get up top there. Let's go through this doorway. All right. Now we just got to kill a few more raiders, grab a bobblehead, and then we'll call that an episode. Think you can hide? Oh my god. Oh, there is a grenade behind me. <coughs> I thought I was getting low on health. But I am not. Oh, dog meat. You can pull him over here. Um, medics. Dog meat. Move. <laughs> he does not like to move. Or actually, it's not that he doesn't like to move. He likes to just be in your way. I think there's another dude up there, too. Yeah. All the way up there. We might as well not even sneak because everybody can see us. We'll just go to the top here. Hey, my first gun fight, rookie. <laughs> yeah, not mine either, bud. 
There we go. That guy was just going to be annoying. As for the other guy, I think he's down in the, like, I don't know, tunnel system, whatever the hell this is. <laughs> I don't know what to call it. Disappearing act, huh? Is he over here? Could have swore he is over here. Guess not. Move, dog meat. There he is. No, he's just stupid. <laughs> I'm like walking around. I'm doing better sneaking by walking around than I am fucking crouched down. That's sad. <laughs> uh, oh, jeez. Oh, jeez, man. Oh, I'm around. You know. Oh, yeah, it's this way. Up, Just keep walking. Uh, you may get hit once or twice, but it's not going to kill you. I wanted to get to this Kim box. Anytime there's a Kim box, I, I try to get it. And we got to go this way. Go up. And essentially just keep going up. We got to get to the bobblehead here. I've done this hundreds of times. Think you'll be any different? Uh, probably. I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> Bye. Where's that? There's two more? Okay. Well, let's grab this stuff and then we're gonna get the repair bobblehead real quick. Yes. Fusion cores uh, last 10% longer. So that's a good thing. Somehow I missed <laughs> these raiders down here. So let's go back down here, kill the raiders, and then we'll go. Oh, down where we got went, uh, came out of the doorway. Where the hell is this dude? Excuse me, sir. Oh, there you are. Um, stop moving. You're still alive. I'm trying to shoot you. There we go. Here's the last one. This should be the last raider. Sucks to be you, bud. I would have thrown my hands up, been like, you know what? I'm not going to fuck with you, bud. I'll let you be. Continue looting. <laughs> You're obviously tougher than us. All right, let's go down the stairs here. And, uh... Yeah. It's getting dark out. Um, at the end of this video, off screen, I'm going to be going back to Sanctuary and essentially building it up. So be sure if you're trying to keep up level-wise to go do that as well. Yeah, you know what? We'll, we'll uh, cut the video right here. This looks like a good spot. So... All right, everybody. Again, I would like to tell you all thank you for stopping by. I really appreciate it. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the thumbs up button. If you didn't, hit the thumbs down button. Let me know why you didn't enjoy the video or you didn't like it down in the comments below. It only helps the channel and helps me become a better creator, content creator at that. So with that being said, like always, I would like to tell everybody have a good morning a good afternoon, or a good night, or whatever time it may be in your part of the world, Mr. John Wayne, signing off.